Yes, welcome back. I just read uh, the PDF again about the LGA 1156 because I actually got this computer last night. This uh, old uh, Intel Core i5, this i5 first 650, the first generation, and it's very hot again today, it's 30 degrees again. So let's just continue. It's uh, 12, 12 noon. I have to drink a lot of lemonades. Yes, I like to read about the pensions, but I need to finish uh, more of this Intel graphic technology to finish this. So let's uh, continue. But probably it will be uh, have to wait for tomorrow to start reading about the Intel CPUs. No, the pinchums because this takes a long time. Yes, I cannot read uh, the full document because I have to reboot my computer, but I don't like to do that because I have 25 PDF open. So we have to read uh, uh, page by page because it will not uh, read the whole documents. It just stop uh, the end of the page, but you can do read the whole documents, but it's not working. Hyper threading. In this high level depiction of HTT, instructions are stitched from RAM. Differently colored boxes represent the instructions of four different processes. Decoded and reordered by the front end, white boxes represent pipeline bubbles and passed to the execution core capable of executing instructions from two different programs during the same clock cycle. One, two, three, hyperthreading, officially called hyperthreading technology or height technology and abbreviated as HTT or height, is Intel's proprietary simultaneous multi threading. SMT, implementation used to improve parallelization of computations, doing multiple tasks at once, performed on x86 microprocessors. It was introduced on Xeon server processors in February 2002 and on Pentium 4 desktop processors in November 2002. For, since then, Intel has included his technology in Itanium, Atom, and Core i-series CPUs, among others. 5. For each processor core that is physically present the operating system addresses two virtual, logical, cores and shares the workload between them when possible. The main function of hyperthreading is to increase the number of independent instructions in the pipeline. It takes advantage of superscalar architecture, in which multiple instructions operate on separate data in parallel. With HTT, one physical core appears as two processors to the operating system, allowing concurrent scheduling of two processes per core. In addition, two or more processes can use the same resources. If resources for one process are no available, then another process can continue if its resources are available. In addition to requiring simultaneous multi threading support in the operating system, hyper threading can be properly utilized only with an operating system specifically optimized for it. 6. Contents Overview History Performance Claims Drawbacks Security. See also References. External links. Overview. A 3 GHz model of the Intel Pentium 4 processor that incorporates hyper threading technology. 7. 
hyper-threading technology is a form of simultaneous multi-threading technology introduced by Intel. While the concept behind the technology has been patented by Sun Microsystems. Architecturally, a processor with hyper-threading technology consists of two logical processors per core, each of which has its own processor architectural state. Each logical processor can be individually halted, interrupted or directed to execute a specified thread, independently from the other logical processor sharing the same physical core. Dot 8. Unlike a traditional dual processor configuration that uses two spirit physical processors, the logical processors in a hyper-threaded core share the execution resources. These resources include the execution engine, caches, and system bus interface. The sharing of resources allows two logical processors to work with each other more efficiently, and allows a logical processor to borrow resources from a stored logical core, assuming both logical cores are associated with the same physical core. A processor stalls when it is waiting for data it has sent for so it can finish processing the present thread. The degree of benefit seen when using a hyper-threaded or multi-core processor depends on the needs of the software, and how well it and the operating system are written to manage the processor efficiently. Dot 8. Hyper-threading works by duplicating certain sections of the processor those that store the architectural state but not duplicating the main execution resources. This allows a hyper-threading processor to appear as the usual physical processor and an extra logical processor to the host operating system, HTT Unaware Operating System C2 physical processors, allowing the operating system to schedule two threads or processes simultaneously and appropriately. When execution resources would not be used by the current task in a processor without hyper-threading, and especially when the processor is stalled, a hyper-threading equipped processor can use those execution resources to execute another scheduled task. The processor may stall due to a cache miss, branch misprediction, or data dependency. 9. This technology is transparent to operating systems and programs. The minimum that is required to take advantage of hyper-threading is symmetric multiprocessing. SMP, support in the operating system, as the logical processors appear as standard separate processors. It is possible to optimize operating system behavior on multiprocessor hyper-threading capable systems. For example, consider an SMP system with two physical processors that are both hyper-threaded, for a total of four logical processors. If the operating system's thread scheduler is unaware of hyper-threading, it will treat all four logical <coughs> processors the same. If only two threads are eligible to run, it might choose to schedule those threads on the two logical processors that happen to belong to the same physical processor. That processor would become extremely busy while the other would idle, leading to poorer performance. Ethan is possible by scheduling the threads on two different physical processors. This problem can be avoided by improving the scheduler to treat logical processors differently from physical processors. In a sense, this ISA limited form of the scheduler changes that are required for NUMA systems. History. Click on there. I have to reboot my computer if this should be able to read the full documents. But then I have to open all this 25 PDF again. I don't do it right now, I have to do it tomorrow. The first published paper describing what is now known as hyper-threading in a general-purpose computer was written by Edward S. Davidson and Leonard. Eshar in 1973.10, Dean Elcorp, Inc. introduced multi-threading with the heterogeneous element processor, 
The HEP pipeline could not hold multiple instructions from the same process. Only one instruction from a given process was allowed to be present in the pipeline at any point in time. Should an instruction from a given process block the pipe, instructions from other processes would continue after the pipeline drained. US patent for the technology behind hyperthreading was granted to Kenneth Okin at Sun Microsystems in November 1994. At that time, cross process technology was not advanced enough to allow for a cost effective implementation. 11. Intel implemented hyperthreading on an x86 architecture processor in 2002 with the Foster MP based Kion. It was also included on the 3.06 GHz Northwood based Pentium 4 in the same year, and then remained as a feature in every Pentium 4 height, Pentium 4 Extreme Edition, and Pentium Extreme Edition processor since. The Intel Core and Core 2 processor lines. 2006, that succeeded the Pentium 4 model line didn't utilize hyperthreading. The processors based on the core microarchitecture did not have hyperthreading because the core microarchitecture was a descendant of the older 6P microarchitecture. The P6 microarchitecture was used in earlier iterations of Pentium processors, namely, the Pentium Pro, Pentium I and Pentium 3 plus their Celeron and Xeon derivatives at the time. Intel released the Nehalem microarchitecture, Core i7, in November 2008, in which hyperthreading made a return. The first generation Nehalem processors contained four physical cores and effectively scaled to eight threads. Since then, both two and six core models have been released, scaling four and twelve eth threads respectively. 12. Earlier Intel Atom cores were in order processors, sometimes with hyper-threading ability, for low-power mobile PCs and low-price desktop PCs. 13. The Itanium 9300 launched with 8 threads per processor, 2 threads per core, through enhanced hyper-threading technology. The next model, the Itanium 9500, Pulsorn features a 12 wide issue architecture, with 8 CPU cores with support for 8 more virtual cores via hyperthreading. 14. The Intel Xeon 5500 server chips also utilize two-way hyperthreading. 15. 16. Performance claims. According to Intel, the first hyperthreading implementation used only 5% more die area than the comparable non-hyperthreaded processor but the performance was 15 30% better. 17, 18, Intel claims up to 30% performance improvement compared with an otherwise identical, non-simultaneous multi-threading Pentium 4. Tom's hardware states, in some cases a 4P running at 3.0 GHz with height on can even beat a P4 running at 3.6 GHz with height turned off. 19. Intel also claims significant performance improvements with a hyperthreading enabled Pentium 4 processor in some artificial intelligence algorithms. Overall, the performance history of hyperthreading was a mixed one in the beginning. As one commentary in high performance computing from November 2002 notes, Sad Smiley 20, hyperthreading can improve the performance of some MPI applications but not all dot depending on the cluster configuration and, most importantly, the nature of the application running on the cluster, performance gains can vary or even be negative. The next step is to use performance tools to understand what areas contribute to performance gains and what areas contribute to performance degradation. As a result, performance improvements are very application dependent winking sad smiley 21, however, when running to programs that require full attention of the processor, it can actually seem like one or both of the programs lows down slightly when hyper-threading technology is turned on. 22. 
This is due to the replay system of the Pentium 4 tying up valuable execution resources, equalizing the processor resources between the two programs, which adds a varying amount of execution time. The Pentium 4 Prescott and the Xeon No Kona processors received a replay queue that reduces execution time needed for the replay system and completely overcomes the performance penalty. 23, according to a November 2009 analysis by Intel. Performance impacts of hyperthreading result in increased overall latency in case the execution of threads does not result in significant overall throughput gains, which vary. 21 by the application in other words overall processing latency is significantly increased due to hyper threading with the negative effects becoming smaller as there are more simultaneous threads that can effectively use the additional hardware resource utilization provided by hyper threading dot 24 a similar performance analysis is available for the effects of hyper threading winners to handle tasks related to managing network traffic such as for processing interrupt requests generated by network interface controllers nics dot 25 another paper claims no performance improvements when hyper threading is used for interrupt handling dot 26 drawbacks when the first height processors were released, many operating systems were not optimized for hyper-threading technology, for example Windows 2000 and Linux older than 2.4.27. In 2006, hyper-threading was criticized for energy inefficiency. 28. For example, Specialist low-power CPU design company ARM stated that simultaneous multi-threading can use up to 46% more power than ordinary dual-core designs. Furthermore, they claimed that SMT increases cache thrashing by 42% whereas dual-core results in a 37% decrease. 29. In 2010, ARM said it might include simultaneous multi-threading in its future chips winking sad smiley 30, however, this was rejected in favor of their 2012 64-bit design. 31. In 2013, Intel dropped SMT in favor of out-of-order execution for its Silvermont processor cores as they found this gave better performance with better power efficiency than a lower number of cores with SMT. 32. In 2017, it was revealed Intel Skylake and Kaby Lake processors had a bug with their implementation of hyper-threading that could cause data loss. 33. Microcode updates were later released to address the issue. 34. In 2019, with Coffee Lake, Intel began to move away from including hyper-threading in mainstream Core i7 desktop processors except for highest-end Core i9 parts or Pentium Gold CPUs. 35. It also started recommending disabling hyper-threading as new CPU vulnerability attacks were revealed which could be mitigated by disabling hype. 36. Security. In May. 2005, Colin Percival demonstrated that a malicious thread on a Pentium 4 can use a time-invasive side-channel attack to monitor the memory access patterns of another thread with which it shares a cache allowing the theft of cryptographic information. This is not actually a timing attack, as the malicious thread measures the time of only its own execution. Potential solutions to this include the processor changing its scarce eviction strategy or the operating system preventing the simultaneous execution on the same physical. Core of threads with different privileges. 37. In 2018 the OpenBSD operating system has disabled hyper-threading in order to avoid data potentially leaking from applications to other software caused by the foreshadow forward slash L1TF vulnerabilities. 38. 39. In 2019 a set of vulnerabilities led to security experts recommending the disabling of hyper-threading on all devices. 40. C. 
See also Barrel processor Computer multitasking Multi-core processor References Yes